theremin, one of the first electronic instruments. It was invented by a Russian physicist, Lev Terman, in 1919. The electrical schematic is extraordinary in its simplicity. It uses the principle of electromagnetic disturbance. Two aerials sense the positions of my hands. Actually, the electromagnetic um, capacity between the antenna and my entire body. It controls the uh, uh, radio frequency oscillators for the pitch on one side and the volume on another. The instrument is very sensitive, not just to my little movements, but also to my emotional condition. And I have to find the right notes in the air by my musical ear, by intuition. It makes the uh, mentality of theremin playing very unstable, lyrical, spontaneous. And there was a long time that was a myth that theremin is too complicated to learn and uh, the theremin was neither in the shops nor in productions. Very little was written for this instrument. But in 1990s, musicians began looking for, not just for new sounds, but also for the new way of performing music. It was a time of development of so-called live electronics. Since then, the interest in the theremin has grown enormously. And nowadays we have got several theremin productions, hundreds of theremin players and compositions of various kinds of art. And there's a lot of potential in the development of this theremin idea as a space controller where you can create anything from sound and sound effects and lights and projections or making films in real time. After many decades since Lev Terman made his pioneering invention, the innovations of today go in the way where devices react to our distant movement or they react to sensitive finger touch. And the new generation of theremin beginners are already prepared to look by intuition, to look for this musical sound in the air. It was not that obvious in the 20th century. So perhaps the theremin has finally come of age. I would like to play a composition by myself for you. It is a monologue. Mm -hmm. 